Hi first graders, Mrs. Gady. Hey, today in science you get to go to a website for the San Diego Zoo and click on some animals live webcams to check out what they're doing. And I thought it would be nice for me to read you a book about different types of animals. This book's made up, it's fiction, but all the animals in it come from Australia. There's also a lot of food in it and it's all food that is from Australia as well. The name of the book is called Possum Magic and it was written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Julie Vivas. All right, let's find out what happens. Possum Magic. For Chloe, Anna, and Kate, here we go. Once upon a time, but not very long ago, deep in the Australian bush lived two possums. Their names were Hush and Grandma Poss. Grandma Poss made bush magic. She made wombats blue and kookaburras pink. She made dingoes smile and emus shrink. But the best magic of all was the magic that made Hush invisible. What adventures Hush had. Because she couldn't be seen, she could be squashed by a koala. Because she couldn't be seen, she could slide down kangaroos. Because she couldn't be seen, she was safe from snakes, which is why Grandma Poss had made her invisible in the first place. But one day, quite unexpectedly, Hush said, Grandma, I want to know what I look like. Please, could you make me visible again? Oh, of course I can, said Grandma Poss and she began to look through her magic books. She looked into this book and she looked into that. There was magic for thin and magic for fat and magic for tall and magic for small, but the magic she was looking for wasn't there at all. Grandma Poss looked miserable. Don't worry, Grandma, said Hush. I don't mind. But in her heart of hearts, she did. All night long, Grandma Poss thought and thought. The next morning, just before breakfast, she shouted, it's something to do with food. People food, not possum food, but I can't remember what. We'll just have to try and find it. So later that day, they left the bush where they'd always been to find what it was that would make Hush seen. They ate Anzac biscuits in Adelaide Mornay and Minty's in Melbourne, steak and salad in Sydney, and pumpkin scones in Brisbane. Hush remained invisible. Don't lose heart, said Grandma Poss. Uh, let's see what, what we can find in Darwin. It was there in the far north of Australia that they found a Vegemite sandwich. 
Grandma Poss crossed her claws and crossed her feet. Hasha breathed deeply and began to eat. A tail, a tail, shouted both possums at once, for there it was, a brand new visible tail. Later on, later on a beach in Perth, they ate a piece of pavlova. Hush's legs appeared. So did her body. You look wonderful, you precious possum, said Grandma Poss. Next stop, Tasmania. And over the sea they went. In Hobart, late one night, in the kitchens of the casino, they saw a lamington on a plate. Hush closed her eyes and nibbled. Grandma Poss held her breath and waited. It worked, it's worked, she cried. And she was right. Hush could be seen from head to tail. Grandma Poss hugged Hush and they both danced. Here we go round the lamington plate till early in the morning. From that time onwards, Hush was visible. But once a year, on her birthday, she and Grandma Poss ate a Vegemite sandwich, a piece of pavlova, and a half a lamington, just to make sure that Hush stayed visible forever. And she did. And that, my first grade friends, is the end of this story, Possum Magic. Hey, have you heard of any of those animals before? Koalas, kangaroos, kookaburras? Hmm, how about Anzac biscuits or pavlova or lamington? Gosh, those foods sound interesting. Or what about the cities they mentioned? Darwin and Perth and Brisbane and Sydney? All of those cities and foods and animals are from Australia. What a fun place that would be to explore. Hmm. All right, first graders, until next time, bye-bye.